Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create bite marks or wounds. If you are at all sensitive to graphic imagery, please exit out of this video right now. I have warned you, um, don't watch the video. Otherwise, let's get the tutorial started. Begin by cleaning the skin with alcohol. This step is going to allow the makeup to adhere better to the skin. For the bite marks, I'm using Rigid Collodion and Lip Liner Pencils. I chose Rigid Collodion specifically because as the product dries, it constricts and creates indentations in the skin, which is perfect for teeth marks. I sketched out where I wanted my bite to be using the pencils. For a healing wound, I would use lighter pencils. If you're going for like a, you know, a wound that's almost healed, you would use lighter pencils because typically when skin is healing, it is a little bit of a lighter color. But here I'm going for a fresh bite, so I'm going to be using red and mauve colored lip pencils. And I just drew in the teeth marks using the red and the mauve color. Now as you can see here, I outlined my bite with a white eyeliner. I did this to give myself a border for when I apply the Rigid Collodion, because it's really hard. It's a clear product, so when it dries, it's pretty invisible. So the white line really helps give you a border. Next I applied seven or eight coats of the Rigid Collidian, focusing it kind of in the teeth marks. Um, this product constricts as it dries, as I mentioned, so it's kind of perfect for creating those indents. And you can just use it as many times as you need it to get the depth that you want. So here's a close up of the bite. You can really see how the Rigid Collidian has created the bite mark. It's a very, very neat effect. I wanted a little more dimension around the wound, so I applied a thin amount of nose and scar wax. And I just did this using a spatula. I built the wax up closest to the actual teeth marks and then kind of tapered the wax downwards and outwards and just blended it down into my skin. The wax can get very sticky, so it's best to use it with a sculpting tool like the spatula. You can also smooth out the wax using a little lotion. Here I'm actually dipping my finger into some hand lotion and rubbing it into the wax. And this is going to create a smoother transition from wax to skin. At this point you could probably stop and have a pretty realistic bite scar, but I'm going for a fresh wound. So now I'm coloring in the teeth marks with my alcohol activated paint palette from Real Creations. I'm using 99% alcohol. And for the color mix, I used red, blue, and black. To add a little skin irritation around the wound, I used a Q-tip dipped in alcohol and dabbed the red paint around the perimeter of the wound. The great thing about these paints is that you can easily dissolve them if you get too much color. So if you mess up and have a big splotch of color, you can easily diffuse it out with a little bit of alcohol. Next, I used a paintbrush to dab fake blood into the wound, and again, the magic Q-tip appears um, <laughs> to diffuse any harsh patches of fake blood. Another easy technique is to spray the wound with water and just see how the blood kind of reacts, or the fake blood reacts. It's going to create kind of more organic look, like the actual blood is actually running and you're not dabbing it on with a sponge. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you try any of these FX tutorials, I love to see them. You can share them on my Facebook or my Twitter. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye!